Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can replace the night sky of your images. And therefore there is going to be a lot of selecting involved. And I'm also pretty sure there is an easier way to do it, but uh, that's just the way I have learned it. So I hope you still can learn something from this video. Now in the layers area, you can see I have the original image and then the new sky image, which I want to replace the original sky with. And obviously I want to keep the foreground on the first image and therefore I need to work with selections. So first I'm using the quick selection tool and then I'm brushing over the areas which I want to keep in the later image. So the field in the foreground and the tree, and you can already see the selection isn't quite correct. And what I can do to fix that is go to select and select and mask. And there you can see what will be left over once I have applied the layer mask. Now to further adjust the selection, first I can turn up the radius. And then I can also apply some contrast. Okay, and then I think this already looks kind of usable, so I'm going to apply it by pressing OK. And then I'm selecting the stars layer with the new sky and click on the layer mask icon. And then I need to invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl I. As you can see, you can still make out the edges of the mask and it still quite looks unrealistic but I'm going to change it by changing the blending mode from normal to linear dodge. And now you can see I have replaced the sky with a rather low effort. And as I said before, I'm sure there's a way to better select areas, but I guess this method will work on a lot of images and you don't have to spend a ton of time just selecting stuff. So I hope you could learn something from this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.